All right, so we're gonna go through electron configuration and orbital notation. So for each of these things, you're gonna write the e-config in the bottom cell, and you're gonna write the orbital notation at the top. Remember, the orbital notation is those arrows, and the electron configuration is when you're writing out what each is. Okay. So we have fluorine, so we're going to go find him first on the periodic table. And I see he's over here. He's number nine. So he has an atomic number of nine. And this is the atom because there's no charge here. So that means his electrons are nine minus zero or nine. Okay. Now his electron configuration, always do that before the orbital diagram so that you can have the pattern down. 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. 1s2, 2, oops, and I wrote it in the wrong spot. 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. Now the s has two electrons, so it's one up and one down. s, one up, one down. P has three orbitals because it has two max in each one, two, four, six. But remember, we gotta follow Hun's rule, all ups before the downs. So one, two, three, four, five. Now the next guy is the fluorine ion because he has a charge, so he's actually the anion because he's a negative. So his atomic number is still nine. Remember, that's the fingerprint. But the number of electrons is now nine minus a negative one. Elect uh, protons minus the charge. So that's nine plus one, or ten. So everything is the same except for we have one more electron. So we just have to add one electron to the last spot. One s two. 2s2, 2p6. 5 plus 1 more is 6. So my orbital notation is going to be very similar except for that last orbital. The s tells me 1 up, 1 down. s, there's 2 there, 1 up, 1 down. p, I break it into 3, and there's 6 total. Up, 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 down, down, down. And this shows us that he is now full, so he's like a noble gas, so he's happy. Here, he is short to one, so he gets in minus one charge to then be like a noble gas. Oxygen is over here. He has eight for the atomic number. For the atom, eight minus zero, or eight total. Electron configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1s2, 2s2, 2p, 4. Orbital notation, an s just has one block. There's two in this one, up, down. 2s2, s gets one block. There's two total, up, down. 2p, 4, p's go split into threes. Up, 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 down. If you were to do up, down, up, down here, you get no points for the whole orbital. So be careful. You could spend all this time doing arrows and then not follow Hun's rule, and you're going to get that whole problem wrong. So go slowly. Fill the ups before the downs. And notice I still have four in there, so it still matches how many electrons are in P. Okay. Now the ion, again, eight is the atomic number. It stays the same. Electrons is 8 minus a negative 2, or 10. So we added two electrons. So we just are adding two electrons here on the last one. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Up, down, up, down. P gets split into 3. Up, up, up. Down, down, down. If you notice... The oxygen ion and the fluorine ion have the same electron configuration. And they have, both have 10 electrons. 
Who else has 10 electrons? Neon. So both the oxygen ion and the fluorine ion are isoelectronic to me. All right, and now we'll go over to sodium. Sodium's over here. He's number 11. Electrons, 11 minus zero, because this is the atom. And his electron configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. We stop at the one because we're only going to the first s of the row, three. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. An s only gets two, and there's two there, up, down. S, one orbital, two in it, up, down. P gets three, and there's six. Up, 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 down, down, down. 3s1, it's an s, so it only gets one orbital, but there's also only one electron in that orbital. Okay, sodium plus one. 11 is the fingerprint, 11 minus the charge. So we have 10 electrons here. Wait, I'm seeing a pattern. So the sodium cation has the same electrical configuration as the oxygen anion and the fluorine anion because all of those guys are trying to be like neon. Nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine are trying to be like neon. Magnesium, sodium are trying to be like neon. These guys add electrons, that's why they're negative, to be like neon. These guys are positive, so they lose electrons to be like neon. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, down. Calcium is over here, number 20. 20 minus zero is 20. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. And we always look at where he is on the chart. So his last bit is four and two s's, 4s2. That's the last row. Up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, down. Up, down, up, 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 down, 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 up, down. Okay. So he looks like he's full because he didn't have any gaps here. But remember, he only has two electrons in row four. And with the octet rule, they want to have eight to be happy. So he's not happy with it. So what does he need to do? He needs to lose those two electrons. 20 minus two is 18. You always take the electrons off the outer energy level or the highest quantum number. So we have one row, two row, three row, and four row. So if I'm gonna lose two electrons, I lose it from that highest number. So when I rewrite 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, he has 18 electrons, so he's isoelectronic to argon. The S's get an up and down. The P's get split into three for six total here. The S's get an up and down. The P's get the split into three. Okay. And there you have it. And I'll go back over the whole worksheet for those of you that just wanna check your answers. There you go.